Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today What I'm going to be bringing you is a Southend United versus Bradford City match vlog Now just before we get into today's video If you could drop a like on it Let's try and go for 60 likes on today's video That would be absolutely class Subscribe if you are new as well I am trying to hit 5,000 before the end of the season So if you could subscribe that would be massively appreciated Today we are playing Southend United Bottom of the league away from home It's not going to be an easy game though I reckon the longer that the game goes on And we haven't scored The tougher it's going to get We need an early goal tonight I'm going to stick my 3-0 prediction. I'm going to go with Danny Rowe to score. I'm going to go with Levi Sutton. And I'm also going to go with Antonio O'Connor to get the goals for the Bantams. Team news is in about five minutes. So hopefully, you know, we'll have to see what the team is like. I don't know why I'm saying hopefully. You know, it might be unchanged. We'll have to wait and see. I want to see a couple of changes, you know, because we've, you know, a couple of older players and they'll be a bit leggy and all that sort of stuff. But it'll be interesting to see how we get on tonight. Hopefully, we can pick up our first three points in what feels like absolutely forever. It was a month today since our last win on Boxing Day. So hopefully, we can pick up the three points tonight. I'm hoping for a win. Your score prediction should have been on screen some point throughout this intro. But make sure you leave a like and subscribe and let's get on with today's video. Here is the team then for tonight's match. We are completely unchanged the same team from at the weekend and i believe the same bench as well i'd like to see donaldson and steven start tonight but it's the exact same team from the weekend hopefully we can pick up another three points i don't really have much to say you know i don't have any complaints with it being uh completely unchanged i would like to see Rowe drop into that number 10 position and start with an out one out striker because daniel Rowe likes to drop in a bit but we're completely unchanged let's get into the match here we have it then, we are underway, unfortunately I am in my office tonight, my mum is watching Emmerdale, so unfortunately I am back in my office. The referee tonight is Trevor Kettle, it's never ended well for the Bantams when he is in charge, I absolutely despise that man. Thought he too had a good chance to get him around the back there on the right hand side, I think Cousin Dawson were nowhere to be seen, but he couldn't control it. Three minutes in, still nil-nil. Corner ball here for the Bantams, it'll be Elliot Watt to take it, it'll be an in-swinger. We've seen two poor deliveries from him so far from the out-swingers. Let's see if the in-swingers going to be any better. It's towards the near post, but it's a better ball in, but no one's there. Go on, Cook, have a go. Brings it into Danny Rowe, who can definitely hit him. He sent the South End player to the shops. Oh, that's another big save from the South End keeper. Good chance that once again for Danny Rowe. The problem with having players who aren't wingers play on the wing in Billy Clark and Gareth Evans, every time they get the ball, they're not trying to run down the line and cross the ball in. They're trying to keep cutting inside and trying to find the pass. And so far in this opening 15 minutes, it really has not been working. Billy Clark especially has been very poor in this game as he goes tumbling there and Sam Hart's got a chance to put the ball into the box. He cuts it back. Well cut out though by Elliot Watt. He's been very good in this game, but I've not been impressed so far from what I've seen in the opening 15 minutes. Callum Cook on the ball here. Takes shot. It's good save. And it's Evans! In the back of the net, let's go! He nearly scored at the weekend, but he's got his first goal for the club now. Gareth Evans with the goal. It's a bit lucky. It's kind of just hit him. It's a good save from the keeper initially. It's good battling by Clark, who sends Callum Cook through. He does well to get the shot. It's a good save, but it's just kind of hit Gareth Evans, and he's found the back of the net. He gets his first goal for the club. Southend United nil, Bradford City won. A great start, about 24 minutes gone. We're finally taking the lead. That should hopefully open Southend up a, a little bit more because they're playing five at the back up against that one strike. Because hopefully we can find a bit more space in between their defence now as well to try and push forward for an equaliser. But that is a great start, that. And I'm uh, happy for Evans. He's finally got his first goal. Hopefully he'll kick on now and he'll start to you know build some more confidence and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, we are winning 1 0. Gareth Evans with the goal. It's a great start. I was literally just complaining as well that the wingers, because there weren't actual wingers, they get coming in sideways. You know, it's worked. Callum Cook's taken a shot on. Gareth Evans found himself in the middle. It's good finish into the top corner. It's, it's been a pretty decent start. Southend had a little five-minute spell where they were on top a bit, but apart from that, it has been all Bradford. Southend have got the ball in the middle of the park. Number 17's done well to get past two of our players there. Antonio O'Connor with a slice click. Oh, that's really poor from Connor Wood. And number two's got round the back. He's taken a shot on, off the post. And it's in the back of a net. I don't know what Connor Wood's doing there, but he's absolutely bottled the 50-50. And Southend are level. Not long after we've taken the lead, Southend are level. That's really poor that from Connor Wood. Got lucky originally, but I don't know what Connor Wood's doing there. He's just bottled the 50-50 and no one can get across in time. Nothing Hornby can do. It's a good finish. But that's very, very disappointing that. And Southend draw themselves level. One minute of added time at the end of the first half. The quicker we get into the changing rooms, all the better. It's been very, very poor, as I keep saying, since we've scored. Half time then, 1 1 at the break. 
like I, like I've already briefly touched on, up until the our goal, we were very very good. You know, we were on the front foot, we were creating chances, couldn't quite get on the end of them, and then eventually we did manage to break the deadlock through Gareth Evans in the twenty third minute. It was a good little finish, good press, and all that sort of stuff. But um, yeah, it didn't last very long. As eight minutes later, South and equalised. Very poor from Connor Wood. I, I still don't know what he's doing. He's just kind of backing away, and he doesn't look a hundred percent. He doesn't look fully committed, which you can't be having players like that. And if he's going to keep playing like this. We might as well just cash in on him now whilst there's still time left in the transfer window. There's about five days left. We might as well just cash in on him. Mighty Fold seems decent from what I've heard of him. So we might as well just play him if Connor Wood's going to keep it being pretty poor and disappointing. But after the goal anyway, we still should have been, you know, keeping a go at Southend. And we did from time to time, but... You know, since Southend scored, it has been pretty much all Southend, which has been very, very disappointing considering they're bottom of the league. We have to win this game and on Saturday because the fixtures after that, they're very, very tough. Six points from this game and Saturday are an absolute must. But yeah, I'm not happy with the first half at all. We need to come out a completely different team in the second half. Here we are then, we are underway for the second half. A lot of Southend fans are acting like they've won the league on Twitter at half time. Hopefully we can come out here and do the business in the second half. I don't think we've made any changes, but I'd like to see us get Stevens on, a bit more pace on that right hand side. When I'm watching South End, it's very confusing. Some of the time I think, how are they bottom of the league? But then over, like some other times I'm thinking, how are they not already relegated? Like sometimes they play some really nice pressing good football, and other times just kicking it straight out of play to absolutely no one. It's absolutely bizarre. Danny Rowe once again has got very unlucky there. He just shot about <laughs> 40 yards out. He's absolutely hammered it. Oh, he's about the lens flare. But what a save once again from the keeper, Danny Rowe. If that would have gone in, that might have rivaled Lee Novak's overhead kick at Grimsby. Danny Rowe's got the ball here. He plays it into Callum Cook and we've got a two on one here. Callum Cook's attacking. What? He plays it to Danny Rowe. Can he get his first goal for the club? It's lost save past the keepers. <laughs> 2 1. Danny Rowe gets his first goal for the club. He's come very, very close in this game and last game as well, but he's finally got his first goal for the club. 57 minutes played. South and United won. Bradford City 2. Great counter attacking stuff this from the Bantam. South and players slips. There's been a lot of slips in this game. Callum Cook, though, he laid that off beautifully. And Danny Rowe at the near post slots it past the keeper. And we are back ahead. Hopefully, we can hold out. Now, I say hold out. We are playing against South End. We need to keep going. Go get some more. It's a great finish that from Danny Rowe. He gets his first goal for the club. Let's go, man. South and United 1, Bradford City 2. Danny Rowe's the ball on the left hand side of the box, about to enter the penalty area. On his left foot, cuts back on his right, puts a great ball into the box. There was no one there at the back post, no one attacking it. Danny Rowe's done very well there once again, and we'd probably say Bradford's man of the match so far. He was joint man of the match for me last game, and he probably will get man of the match here. With 73 minutes played, we've still not made any subs. I think Cousin Dawson has a throw in, throws it down the line. Rowe flicks it on to Callum Cook, who turns away from a man once again, and we've got a two on one once again. Callum Cook squares it to Gareth Evans. He gets his second goal of the game. Gareth Evans surely wraps things up now. It's taken him a while, but once he's got going, he's got two in one game. Fantastic stuff that from Gareth Evans. Callum Cook with another assist. Great play from him. It's a great assist once again. Done very well here to get past two South End players and play once again another perfect pass into Gareth Evans, who takes it first time on the left foot under the goalkeeper. He makes it South and United 1, Bradford City 3, and we really have turned it around in this second half. And we're also going to see the introduction of Jordan Stevens here now, but that's surely for me game over. 15 minutes still to go, but I think Evans has wrapped the game up there. It actually looks like Jordan Stevens is going to be playing on the left hand side. It looks like Gareth Evans has gone into the centre, which I'd rather Evans play on the wing rather than Billy Clark. But it is what it is. Less than 10 minutes to go, we're still 3 1 up. Roman Borelli's taken on one. He's taken on two, but his touch has just taken him a bit too far. He couldn't quite make anything of it in the end. 50 seconds to go. The three minutes is now up. We have a throw in on the left hand side, and that is where I'm going to leave today's video. Yeah, the first half were a bit shaky, I thought we were pretty poor in the first half, especially when South End scored, but the second half we've come out, we made a couple of subs as well, we've got game time in players who have not been playing recently, you know, we've got the three points, three goals scored away from home, that is the official end of the game, back to winning ways, first win since a month today on Boxing Day, I know we've only played two games since then, but it's fantastic that we've been able to beat bottom of the league, you know, this could have been an easy slip up, especially away from home, but the Truman and Sellers show continues, Gareth Evans getting his first two goals for the club, as well as Danny Rowe getting his first goal for the club. I'll take that every day of the week. But that is where I'm going to leave today's video. If you have enjoyed, a like would be massively appreciated.
Let's try and go for 60 likes. As I said at the start of the video, that will be absolutely class. Subscribe if you are new as well. I am trying to hit 5,000 subscribers for the end of the season. Hopefully, you know, we could be now starting a playoff charge. It's a big ask, but I think we'll probably have cut the gap tonight. We were 12 points. I don't know how many we are now. I don't even know if we've moved up any places. Hopefully we have though. Fantastic win. Credit to Truman and Sellers. Sam Hornby as well. Big shout out to him. Considering only one goal in three games. I think he's been class since he's come in. But I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.